So, I'll show you one way to do it. So, first of all, normally you you can put the base color here. So, have a fill create a fill layer and have the base color in it. So, fill layer then I'm just going to reset the UI to have the properties here and select the color and the color was blue and then you can set the glossiness here I mean the metallicness and roughness here you could do the metallic and roughness also as their own layers that is pos possible so I'll just show you how it would look so I, I first make this really glossy, the paint, and then I'll add a new fill layer on top. Uh, and make it a grunge actually this bit's funny and then set the roughness on and actually okay I'll remove the color sorry I think this is better so I move the color from that layer and just change the roughness of it so now I have a fill layer that only changes the shininess of the paint because that's the only thing that is different here so this is a bit strange but this enables me to change the roughness and add a grunge to the roughness this was extra stuff for, the, for this but the point is that I can now have the paint itself to be more like uh, glossy and more rough on different areas so this would be my paint base so this my this my uh, paint color and this would be my paint roughness you don't need the roughness thing but you can see that it's the paint is more vivid here now with the roughness on actually just putting some smaller dents here okay now it's just a tiny bit dense or it wasn't painted perfectly it has these little dots on it but that's not my rust yet so next up is the uh, this was just to show that you can actually like make everything as their separate fills if you want to. Next up I'll make the rust and first I'll create the rust uh, the rust color so a new fill and change the color to be rusty. So, I'm happy with this orange. And uh, then I'll change the... Now on the color I change... Should the rust be glossy or not glossy? Rough or not rough? It should be rough. So now it's matte. So this is the base color for the rust I'm gonna name it rust so these two if you skip the roughness are the basic ones so the color and the rust are in different fill layers okay but now I don't want to show this uh, on every area so I add a mask on it a, for example a black mask 
when I'm on black mask, I only have the mask showing here. Um, and it's fully black, so I don't, I cannot like see the rust anymore. But now I will add uh, something, something to show the rust, the rust color. And that's possible by right click on it and putting a new layer, fill layer on, on the fill. So it depends what we want to do, but now I want to have a fill. And this fill, I don't want to be like a, just one color, uh, one color, I mean just to make it uh, like show a little bit, but I want it to change it that it shows the rust on some areas. So I change the fill here that changes the uh, mask of the actual fill to be some kind of uh, grunge, for example. So this grunge now controls the mask that shows the gray color, uh, the orange color. So now I have like matte paint on top of the matte paint on top of the glossy blue paint. Like this. But it's not perfect rust yet, or I don't want to want it to be perfect, but something what is quite often happens with rust is that it's uh, the rust appears the oxidization of a metal appears on top of the metal so i want this rust to be higher than the actual paint and that is achieved by going to the actual rust so which is this orange fill and change the height of the orange. So I make the height positive, like this. So I pushed only the paints outside of the So that would look a bit like rust on a blue surface. And it does look quite nice, doesn't it? It's quite like real, even, even though it's not like perfect rust, but it's like really impressive looking and everything here what happens here is just um, the differences in these few colors so the game uh, engine can like show this with no problem so this only this not this is not true this is only uh, It's only paint and hide paint and so on. Okay, now we have a nice rusty pay. Uh, we have now rust on top of um, blue paint, and now we can save this uh, save this to be one material we have made a perfect material now and we want to save it to use it later on 
and that is achieved by selecting the, all of the layers here and grouping them. So shifts and here all of the ones that are in your rust. So the color and the rust. And then you can group, group them by putting them into a folder from here. Sorry, you need to create the folder and then drag them there. Let's try it with Ctrl G. If you press Ctrl G, <laughs> select them and press Ctrl G, then they go to the folder straight away. But if you want to do it from here, you need to first create the folder and then drag them there. So now they are, all of those are now in one folder. So create the folder, drag them into the folder. You can see that they are they are indented. There's some space here. And then you can close the folder. Okay, then looks, let's look at the shelf down here. I just drag it to be a bit bigger, you don't need to do it, but uh, just to show you better. Uh, the shelf has all of like these tools or all the all the like uh, lists of materials here. So you can click on, on here, you can see that there's alphas, all the grunges, all the all kinds of like materials, uh, well uh, textures, hard surfaces, and so on. There's skins and brushes. They are all here. They can all, always be entered also from there. Like if you if you have the brush tool selected or you're painting, you can see all of these also. But they are here on the shelf. Uh, we also have materials here. So ready-made materials. I just uh, jump onto the body from here. And I'll tr try some of these materials. So if you want, you can just drag a material on top of the model. So I dragged plastic fabric bands material to here. Uh, you shouldn't drag the human face here, but I will just do that. And now it has a human face on top of the plastic fa fabric bands. It all made <laughs> some really strange skin underpants for this, for some reason. Okay, but you get the idea. You can drag these and you can see them as separate layers on the right. I'll just remove both of these. <laughs> so these where the materials go. Uh, then there is smart materials. Let's look at those also. Uh, and these, these are where we have like really special stuff. So for example, let's try st something steel. Maybe rust surface. Let's some look at something that is really crazy. I'll just put the leather here. One of the leathers. Well, it wasn't that bad. Let's. Okay, let's try that. Okay, this was a bit more special, the machinery one. <coughs> and you can see that these materials and the smart materials are actually just um, folders which have stuff in it. So I drag the ma machinery here, you can see it's on the layers, that it's a, um, 
it's a folder of its own. And some of these are really, really uh, strange, so or special, so they can be really complicated. These, okay. But now I'll go back to my head, and I had the uh, folder here, and I want now it to be a material. So I want to save this folder. So I just click on, right click on top of the my folder, I went back to the head, right click on it and cr click on create smart material. And now it created the material here and it's now called folder one in the smart materials. <coughs> So you can only do this for folders to make them mat uh, smart materials. So right click on it and click on smart material or then you can also do this by dragging the folder into the shelf. Mm, why you cannot? Let's tr I'll try it again. Okay, you couldn't. Okay, but that's uh, enough that we can create this. And when we have created this material, it's handy because we can now change the material or set it to other places. So now I can go to body and just drag the folder one to the body. Go to the base and drag the folder one to the base. And now I have a challenge for you that um, change the paint on the different parts to be different color. all of them rusted. So the head should be different color, the body should be different color and the base should be different color. <laughs> 